Hey everybody, just a shave today, but we're gonna make it retro. Today on Barber Dave Shaves and Such. Hey, happy Tuesday, folks. We're gonna do a retro shave today with all old classic stuff. So, you know what? Let's set the mood. There, that's much better. So, anyhow, I hope everybody's doing good for a Tuesday. I had had plans to do something else on the channel today, but I thought better of it um, until, as I said, I can get a little bit more information, and then maybe I'll address it. But the... Uh, the soap today is unobtainium. I mean, you might be able to find it in different pockets on the secondary market. However, I'll give you a big hint for those of you that know, you used to be able to get this stuff between 50 cents and a dollar a puck, and you could find it at every Walgreens, every uh, drugstore in the free world and even more so down in different parts of the world. But then, in my opinion, what happened, and this may be incorrect, but we started seeing Vanderhagen show up. And they have a pretty, apparently they had a pretty big marketing arm at the time, and I think they convinced a lot of these small mom and pops, and even the large chains like Walgreens, to uh, try something new because the stuff that they had was old and people didn't shave that way anymore well it is still one of the best slickest soaps out there we're shaving with the oldest version today and it's just it's just wonderful and this will be a straight razor shave today so is everybody getting ready for christmas we've got our decorations finally done now it's just the little stuff, deciding what we're going to do for food. And I think we're going to do Puerto Rican this year. Um, I've got a, a line on some pasteles. And I think we're going to make arroz con pollo and tostones. And Sean Stapelfeld will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's hard to get some of the some of the ingredients because uh, normally we would try to make pasteles ourselves, but very hard to get some of the the stuff here. I know some of you are thinking by looking at this razor. that because it's four eights and shoulderless that it's either a Nystrom or a Tornblom and it's not. Probably one of the most unique razors I have. Not from a geometry or a style of razor but more so because of who makes it. And we'll go over that in just a bit. And just a reminder for those of you that are getting started in straight razors or even veterans that want to kind of refresh some of their technique and stuff like that uh, don't forget to check out my SRS 101 through 105 or 101 through 106 or 100 through 106 don't get old it sucks um, straight razor learning series uh, it's in my uh, library you can uh, search it 
but just search for SRS and you can see it right off the front page. And that'll take you through six modules and you can review and start and stop and stuff like that. But I think they're very valuable for the straight razor shaver. And if you like them, great. If not, well, I get it. Also, don't forget to come and see us at uh, www.theshavingcadre.com. We do feel we are the finest traditional wet shaving forum and men's pursuit forum. Although we have kids and we have ladies and we've got ladies pursuits and stuff like that. So come and join us. It's free. Self-moderated. We don't have any moderators other than um, me and my partners. And then we have a concierge staff that helps people out as well. These little 4 8 razors are fun. They're like little sports cars. Although, like everything from this brand that we'll talk about, you need to respect the steel. Because if you don't, uh, this brand more than any other can reach out and touch you, so to speak. The situational awareness that you need with these razors and the focus, as you do with almost any straight razor, obviously. But these and this brand, for whatever reason, because of the hardness of the steel, uh, in my opinion, you got to be extra careful with. But there are some straight razors that you can. get away with things but not this one not this brand anyway You know, it's amazing a soap that between 50 cents and a dollar compared to what we pay for a lot of artists and soaps out there is every bit as good. So the argument is why the heck are we spending a lot of money on traditional shaving? And anybody, and we've heard this a billion times, you ain't saving any money. Are you kidding? Because it becomes a hobby. But why do we spend the money on the high-end artists and soaps? Well, for any other reason why we spend money on any other hobby. Well, I'm also into firearms and I can buy a very inexpensive automatic and the calibers that are there, and I'm speaking of specifically Taurus, or I can buy a Kimber at three times the price. What do I buy? Well, I've got both, but that's beside the point. Let's, let's not go there. Uh, so yeah, any of us that are hobbyists of any type, we try new things, we want the best, but we also give our nod to the past, and that's what this does. I've got a total of three pucks of this stuff. Never got one of the menthol pucks. I always wanted one of the Williams green menthol pucks, but I was late to the party, as they say, and I don't think there's any. Well, I know somebody who's got some, but 
those are part of his collection. So they're even on the secondary market. I haven't looked though. I mean, I've got so many soaps, but uh, yeah, I've got three pucks of this. One is pristine in the box that I will always keep. But who knows, you know, because of because the problem is with some of the hobbies that we have, you know, you collect things and you say, I'm never going to use them. Well, it's not what their intention was. Their intention was to use. And that's the thing that I struggle with sometimes. In all my hobbies, I've got some very vintage things and they're meant to be used, especially in the shaving side. Now, obviously, if you collect other items that are keepsakes, that's different. But in shaving items, they're meant to be used. But I'm guilty just like anybody else. There's certain things that I don't use. Beautiful shave today. Need to do a little bit of cleanup. As always. And a little bit of flat biting. Now flat biting with these little race cars can be tricky. Still got that one follicle that's giving me fits. It's always the same one too. It seems to be getting better today. There we go. All right, we'll get cleaned up here and show you all the good stuff. And I do appreciate you joining me, as always. No alum sting at all. Maybe a little bit of a tingle, but that's that's normal. Nice shave. I would say that probably qualifies for dolphin skin smooth. Uh, for our witch hazel day, we're going to be using Thayer's Lemon, the old standby. Since we're not getting too fancy to run it, we've got a couple errands to run, so we're not going to even be using a fragrance today. Okay, so what did we use today for this retro shave? Well, you guys probably already figured out by the picture, but obviously, Williams, just an absolutely wonderful soap. Uh, I try to even keep the packaging because I keep the soap in the package, 
and uh, usually I palm lather this, but just fantastic soap. Uh, for the razor today, no, it wasn't a torn bloom, no, it wasn't a Nystrom, but it was a Swiss. That's right, a CV Helgestrand number four, which is a beautiful little shoulderless sports car. Wonderful razor to use. I love it. And then for the brush today, going vintage, of course. Um, now, there's a lot of copies of this brush because it was known as an icon, but this is a true one that's vintage, and that's a rubber set 404. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that in there. I don't even know if I got it right side up because I don't have my glasses on. But a rubber set 404, and this has been re-knotted uh, from the traditional bore. This has got a uh, TGN Finest uh, Badger knot on it. So just a fun razor to, or fun brush to use. Okay, and then finally today uh, for our aftershave, uh, the, bot the bottle is vintage. The juice is not aqua velva blue. Just love this bottle. I... I know why they stopped using glass bottles, but there's nothing like it because you can actually get the new juice in the plastic and decant it in uh, the glass, and it totally changes the uh, the fragrance. And what's nice about Aqua Velvet is nice, icy, uh, menthol, and it it actually lasts pretty long for a for a cheap drugstore aftershave and it matches perfectly uh with the williams uh, i'm gonna use some talc i'm not gonna bore you with that um and everything else so hey that's it for the week guys sorry i missed yesterday but we're gonna try to get all three done uh next week uh i certainly appreciate you joining us please like subscribe uh comment i'll try to get back to everybody's comments as best i can i'm barbara dave this has been barbara dave shaves and such have a wonderful week folks we'll see you again next sunday take care